guys, today we'll be doubling the power output on my stock Predator 670 V-Twin. So the application is for off-road. We want something that can rev pretty high, but still have lots of torque. So we'll start by removing the oil bolt and draining the oil. This oil looks brand new. Here's our custom header. I highly recommend getting rid of the stock throttle linkages as they are known for sticking. So I really like this engine in terms of its simplicity. After all, it was only designed to sit on pressure washers and lawnmowers. Go ahead and unbolt the side cover to access the internals. This engine utilizes a plastic oil pump gear. Believe it or not, a Honda CR500 also has plastic inside its engine. So we are ditching this oil sensor. So Harbor Freight should have sold this engine for 50% off because we're literally throwing away half of this engine. Most of the stock stuff is for emissions anyways. The intake manifold and carburetors are highly restrictive, but are great for bottom end power. I will be deleting this carburetor intake as well as the pulse pump for simplicity. We will be installing Performance 670's billet intake standoffs for a dual carb setup. Generally, the bigger the carburetor, the better it is for top end power at the expense of low end torque. In order to remove the camshaft, we will need to relieve the tension by pulling the rockers. Don't be tempted to prime the cam as you may damage it. And don't forget about the push rods. This governor shaft will be removed and cut short so it does not interfere with moving parts. Don't forget about the rest of the oil sensor. Here's the stock cam next to our upgraded cam. You can see the low profiles are much bigger than stock. This is a pretty hot cam. It makes its peak power around 7,000 RPMs. Go ahead and lube your lifters and slide them in. In goes the governor shaft. Make sure you take note of all washers. Slide the cam in and make sure it is aligned with the dots. I'm using an M10 bolt in place of the oil sensor and securing it with lots of red Loctite. Here's everything we won't be using. I'll probably still keep it, 